How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Late as usual. Yeah. I know, I know. Whatever. Alright, I don't even have my lights on my desk yet. What a time to be alive. Alright, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I got some new pens. Um, I tried them out and I think they kind of stink, so I'm not going to keep using them. <laughs> That's pretty much that story. I don't really like these pens. I'm loyal. What can I say? I'm loyal to the Pilot G2s. They're the best. Alright, so just give me a second, bro. I'm, I'm really late, so hold on. Hey, Andrew, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, what's up, money, money? What's up, Optic? Hey, Venna. All prominent in the chat? Nice, man. Zhao's in the chat? Nice. Took me seven years. Took you seven years. How about that? <laughs> okay. So that's pretty good, dude. So I do. Oh, that's a little loud. Hold on. All right. So I want to. Hey, what's up, Elizabeth Lynn? All right. So I do have. I'm like. This weekend is like heinous for me. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Saggy. That's hilarious, dude. All right. Cool. Um, so I do want to start off with some harder problems. We are going to stick to math today just because of my schedule. I couldn't put any reading together. Um, but what's up, Henry? But next week, catch me next week. We will be doing ELA. So if you're interested in ELA, you can come back next week. <laughs> but stay for some math. Um, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday and we're also going to continue cruising. I know Friday is like pretty light because most people are just like started on the weekend or whatever. So if there's anything that you guys want to work on specifically, just holler. Otherwise, I got some questions that I want to do with you guys to see if you, oh, wow. Oh, almost spilled my coffee. I have some questions I have that I want you guys, excuse me, to do today to see if you guys can handle it. All right. But dude, I didn't even say it yet. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Yeah, Elizabeth, the OG stream will be this weekend. Um, I'm thinking about moving it to Sunday or like an early Saturday morning. I'll just check the Discord, the uh, the OG channel in Discord. All right. So my desk is like all over the place because I'm going on a trip. And so I was like packing and stuff like that. Uh, dude, I would crush Cardi B in a, in a rap battle. She would get dominated. Um, she's all show. Can we do angle questions? Yeah, we can do angle questions, Asta Labor. No problem, bro. Ricky, what were you up to, bro? Oh, you dude, you went to Brooklyn Tech? What'd you think about it, man? Permutations and combinations? We can work on that, Dan. Asta Labor, transversals? Sure, bro. You're at Brooklyn? Brooklyn Tech? Oh, yeah, and prominent. We can definitely... Don't, don't let me forget prominent. We can definitely do X in terms of Y, because that is super huge. Okay, so let me start with a problem to challenge you guys' is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Exponent, I see you. I see you, Venna. Uh, let me see if I can challenge you guys just a little bit. Oh my god. My circles are getting uglier. I think something's wrong with my brain. <laughs> my circles are getting uglier and uglier. That, that's the circle, guys. Oh man, what a time to be alive. Um, okay, cool. Just make it Wednesday? Make what Wednesday? <laughs> Variable word problems? We can also do that too, Dragon. Dude, you got a 96 on your math test. Let's go, Habib. Let's do it, bro. You had a field day? Nice, dude. Where'd you go? Dude, you lost my... Dude, how'd you lose the key card, Saggy? Oh, what's up, Rachel? Is already caught in the filter. Why? <laughs> Let me... This is... <laughs> this is the comment that got caught in the filter. Look at this. H-F-V-F... Why... Why V-F? Why is that caught in the filter? <laughs> Uh, dude, well, dude, if you're playing Deep Mind, it's a long game, so definitely keep your tab open, and then you can always come back to it, and it will save your positioning. It won't, like, eggs out or anything. Um, okay, cool. So, all circles are beautiful. Rachel, that's that positivity we needed. Thank you. So, let me put this question together, and let me see if I can get you guys here. So that would be 11, 12, 
that's a good question. I actually have to do that out on paper because I don't really know how to do that in my head. Hold on. So. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. So that'll be 12. All right, so check this out, bro. Here's the question to see if you, you learned, to see if you learned, <laughs> to see if you learned yesterday. Okay. <laughs> All right, bros, here we go. First question. Oh my God, the dogs are going crazy. They really like barking at school buses. That's what we found out. All right, let's get this. Minute and a half, guys, let's go. Will the cubic equations be on the SHSAT? What do you mean by cubic equations? Oh yeah, and Elizabeth, I'll be sending out an email to the OGs too, not just Discord, so you're good. Don't worry about it. Yeah, dude, April has some pretty good memes. I only posted one of them. Whoa, this music's kind of weird. Ad revenue. <laughs> Did you guys see I got my first donation yesterday? 99 cents. By drag. What a time to be alive. <laughs> my parents are going to be so proud. Oh, you can't read? Is that too small, Poke? Two, right, three. Is this question too hard for you guys to answer? This might be too hard for you guys to answer. What's up, Archer? 12 pi, 2 pi. Yeah, I think this is too hard for you guys to answer. Yeah, let me make this easier. All right, this is much better. Okay. All right, let me stop this clock real quick. All right, hold on. Let me make sure this is like really good for you guys. So this would be, be one, six, so. All right, cool. All right, so this should be a little bit more in your wheelhouse. All right, cool. So here's the question. And um, this should be a little bit more in your wheelhouse, wheelhouse than the last one. The last one was a bit too complex with trigonometry, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so the area of this partial circle is 120 pi feet squared. What is the linear distance between A and B? Oh, sorry, it's the red button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I need different music. This is like killing me. This is like the saddest elevator that ever existed. All right, let's try this. All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, that's the quickest way to make new friends in your new schools is if you stand up on a table and scream Tyler Tudor. Like all the other Tyler Tudor chat people will be like, oh, that's a new friend. All right, so Leo's got 
a first answer up in here. Leo, I don't know. What do you mean, bro? Why aren't you more confident? Um, let me put everybody. Uh, I'll put them up here. 12, Leo. Pokar got four pie. I'm about to cough. Hold up. <coughs> All right. Two red six. And that's Lin. Nice, nice. 24 feet. And that is money. Got you money. Four pie from Saggy. Whoa. Okay. Uh, 24 pie from Xiao. Oh, that was 24 feet. 24 pie. Got you, Xiao. Uh, Rachel 10 got 12. Rachel, got you. Nice, Rachel. Dude, thank you, Habib. I love vandalism in the name of getting me subs. That's actually super sick. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like at first I was like, whoa, he's vandalizing and then I'm like, thanks. That's really that's really great. Uh all right, so Tejas and Anaket both got twelve. Um Tejas, Anaket. Uh sometimes these names are so small. Henry got twelve pi. Where are you? Twelve pi. You can't see your name, Henry, but you're there in spirit, bruh. Asta the boar got four pi. Alright, so that's definitely enough time. Yeah, dude, we'll go over this dragon. No sweat. Don't even don't even trip, bro. Alright, so Ricky, you got 12 too. Nice. Uh, Dan's got 12 rad 2. 12 rad 2. That's Dan's. My man. Uh, miscellaneous. Alright. Alright, cool. Tiffany got 12 rad 2. I'm just going to call you Tiff. I hope that doesn't rage you. Um, okay, cool. So let's go over this one on how to do it. I almost just knocked off my coffee. My beautiful, beautiful coffee. Okay, cool. So let's go into this on how to do it. Dude, I'm going to spill my coffee today. I'm just calling it. All right. So partial circle. Guys, what we're dealing with here is part over whole constantly. Part over whole. Remember that when we're working with circles. Was oh, this my new purple one? I don't want to use purple. So remember, bros, it's going to be part and it's going to be over the holes. <laughs> so what is our part and what of our whole? So we can figure out what percentage of the circle is there and what percentage of the circle is missing. Now I'm saying, yeah, April's actually 100% right. Shout out to Shaggy too. Uh, two plus three, I don't know, man. That kind of math intimidates me in furnace. Um, okay, cool. So we know that the whole circle is going to be pi r squared. This is r. So the whole circle is going to be 144 pi. That's going to be the whole. Now our part is 120 pi so now we need to reduce this to see what part of the circle is there 120 over 144 i dropped the pies because you can eliminate them almost immediately so i know that both of these can be divided by 2 60 oh or they both can be divided by 12. Duh. this would be 10 over 12 5 over 6. so this whole area this part this kind of shaded part now is 5 sixth of the circle which means that this angle will be 5 sixths of 360 degrees, which means this angle is 1 sixth of 360 degrees. That means that this angle up in here is 60 degrees. Now, if you can get this, if you can get that this is a 60 degree angle, you're, you're flossing, dude. You're, yeah, it doesn't say arc, which is tragic, Archer, for sure. Um, so if you can get that 60 degree, your money, dude. So don't even trip. Um, we know that that's a 60 degree angle. I'm just going to pull it out of the diagram a little bit. This is my beautiful circle. <laughs> okay. So we know that this is 12 feet and that's 12 feet. And we want to know how far away A is from B. Well, dudes, we know that this angle creates a radius and this angle creates a, a radius. And they all add up to 120. So this triangle in here, believe it or not, is actually an equilateral triangle. So 12 feet, that would be the answer. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, cool. All right. Nice. Uh, wait, where'd my trash can go? All right, hold on. Trash can emergency. And by trash can, I don't mean trash can, I mean recycle bin. Yes, of course. Okay. So let's see what else I got for you. We got we got these problems, we have ratio problems, more shaded region of circle problems. Oh, this was a really good one that you guys missed last time. Uh ooh, this is another really good rate problem. So we got oh no, you guys wanted to do how did I do the previous question? What do you mean, Tyler Tutor? Oh, you have to break through 
um, like some trigonometry stuff. Like you have to um, be able to uh, break a triangle in half and then use your sine, cosine, and tangent figures, um, which would be a little bit too advanced for um, <laughs> for SHSAT. Um, I do, I'm not killing paper. It's going into a recycle bin and it's gonna be recycled into, it might even be recycled into your test form. So imagine that. Imagine if some of this paper got reused as, a, as your test form for the SHSAT. Um, so you guys talked about terms of X and Y. So let's actually go into this and let's figure it out. Um, great. So I have an expression here and what I would want you to do is All right, this isn't really a question as much as it is a demand, so I just put an exclamation point. Uh, why does it seem so dark today? Is that just me, or is this actually really dark today? Um, there we go, it's a little bit brighter. All right, so let's get it, guys. Minute and a half, let's go. 2y plus 7 minus 4x equals 15. Solve this expression for y in terms of x. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, not an express. Uh, thank you, April. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. See you, Lynn. Peace. Yes, the answer is memes. Um, okay. So we got some answers coming in. So I'm going to do my best to write them down, but they are going to be a little bit hard. So y equals four plus two x. And that's saggy. Pokar got y equals 2x plus 11. And that's poke. Um, 4x plus 2. A lot of people are coming on this. Dan's. Tages. Rohan. Aniket. Yeah, dude. Nice. Venna. Huh. Yeah. Yep. Auditioning. Poke is looking pretty lonely out there. <laughs> uh, money. Nice. Red wall. Uh, Rachel got negative one plus two X. Okay, two X. And that's Rachel. Cool. Uh, Ziao. Word. Leo. Wait. Yeah, Leo. Um, okay, Elizabeth. So a lot of people got this. So I feel like you guys are actually really good at this. So yeah, we can do more of this fuse. Don't even trip. Rachel, you can't change your answer. It's too late. <laughs> Okay, cool. So let's go into this and like, let's look, let's look to see how you can do it. Um, nothing too, too complicated, dude. Whenever they say solve for Y, that means we're isolating the Y in terms of X means we're going to use these X's to describe a singular Y. So let's get that Y by itself. Um, I'm going to rewrite the equation just because I don't want to mess up in front of you guys. Uh, I've actually messed up in front of you guys so often, I don't even care anymore. Uh, minus 7 on each side, minus 7. 2y minus 4x equals 8. Add 4x to each side. And we have 2y equals 4x plus 8. Divide by 2, divide everything by 2. And what you end up getting is solving 4y in terms of x bank yeah so that's what they mean y in terms of x so we're using x to describe our y we're using terms of x to describe the y all right let's do redemption um cool man see you in furnace go dude go change that karate bro karate chops dude all right <laughs> so let me give you a harder one that i think um, your creative cloud? What is that? Um, <laughs> oh, I see. So let me give you a harder one to try to push your guys' skill here. Um, cause I, I, let me see if I can remember what this problem was. It was so hard. It was like, um, what was that? 
Hold on, let me get another piece of paper and let's figure out the, what that problem was. It was like f of n plus b. What was it? It was something like. Oh. Hold on, let me let me find this question because I want to make sure it's like really good for you guys. I don't want to like do like a lame one. So just hold on for like two seconds, <laughs> or don't, or just like I don't know, eat some food. Okay, let me see if I can find this. Um, oh boy, where is it? There it is. Okay. Um, I'm like scrolling through my thousands of math problems that I have. Where's my finesse section? I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Yes. All right, let's see if we can find it. Mm. No, it's not in here. Where is it? Uh, sorry, this is taking a really long time. I'm sorry, but I want to make sure it's a really good question for you guys. I don't want to give you no trash. Ain't no trash in this stream today. Uh -oh. I will find it. And when I find it, I will kill you. Let me see. Duh. <laughs> Dude, I have too many problems. I need to get organized here. I wish you could see what I'm scrolling through, but I'm scrolling through like these hundreds of problems. Ah, I found it. Yay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. What a time to be alive. Sorry for the delay. All right. So let's say, All right, bros. Okay, <laughs> let me go back to the chat. I bet it's just like total spam city. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> Dude, I'm not at Pearson. No, I'm not stealing Pearson material. Let that be known. Absolutely let that be known. Uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, I don't really know. Dude, no, I have to. I don't care if Pearson steals my questions. I wish Pearson would steal my questions, actually. Because then I could be like, hey, give me a job, please. Okay, cool. So let's get this question. A equals B over C plus B. What is B in terms of A and C? Minute and a half. Let's get it. You got a 43 in a Spanish quiz? Lo siento, my dude. Dude, yeah, poke. Your Spanish isn't the best, bro. <laughs> what is B in terms of A and C? A, B plus A, C. Um, okay. So generally we want to isolate our B, but I'll put it down just in case other people get this. Uh, what was that? Auditioning? Gotcha, bro. All right, guys. 30 more seconds. Let's get it. A, C over 1 minus A. Okay. And that's DJ Muster. A, B plus A, C. Um, that's what this got. Rodney. Rona, Sport Show, uh, Ziao, uh, Asta Labor. What languages do I speak? Uh, just math, bro. Uh, negative A C over one minus A. Um, that's the same thing as this. So I'm just going to put this right here, huh? Um, AV Sport Show, got you, dude. I right, got you, bro. Uh, Tejas. 
Rachel. Okay. So yeah, that is one thing that I, I will I will point out. So bros, for you guys who have this answer, that is actually technically okay. But notice, I want B in terms of A and C. This is B in terms of A, B and C. So that's not what I want. I want B just using terms of A and C. So I basically want all of my B's on one side and isolated. And I want to know what's on the other side of the equation as far as A's and C's go. Yeah. So let me go through how to do this um, really quick. Oh my gosh, did I cut myself really bad? I think I did. Oh my, oh, is that ink? Oh, I think that's just ink. Yeah, it's just ink. No emergency, guys. That's just ink. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just solving some problems. Um, we're just solving algebraically this expression, trying to get the B by itself. That's like the key. So let's get started. Um, let me use green since I've already used this. And this is actually kind of a interesting trick as well. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this side by C over B. And then we're gonna multiply this by, side by C plus B, okay? This will cancel out. These C plus Bs will cancel out. And so then we just distribute this left side. Okay, so now we're here and now I'm gonna get all my Bs on one side. If you're here, that's pretty solid. And most people got around here. They got around here for the answer. But keep in mind, this step right here is B in terms of A, C, and B. And we just want it in terms of A and C. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna factor a B out of this expression right here. Now we're gonna divide both sides by one minus A, one minus A, A, C, over one minus A equals B. That's the answer. And a couple of people actually got that, which is really solid. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's blood. If it was blood, there would be more of it. It's just my red marker. It's like my leaky, leaky red pen. All right, cool. So let me do one more as like a redemption really quick for you guys who did not get that one. Um, Okay, cool. So here's the question. All right, cool. Again, this isn't a question, it's a demand. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am not, okay. I'm, I'm bleeding out, bros. I'm bleeding out. If I stop the stream, like if you guys see me just like slump down on the desk, call the math police. Okay, so here we go, bros. C over, uh, A over C plus B equals A over B. Solve for B in terms of A and C. Go for it, bros. Oh, I should start the clock. Minute and a half, guys. Let's go. Uh, I think my blood type is O. I have like a, a very like unique type of blood, I guess. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you really want the people at the SHSAT to take your test seriously, don't use a pencil. You should write all of your answers in blood. I, like, I, I'm not saying that that's like the only way to get into a specialized high school, but it lets the test takers know that you're you're putting yourself on the line. You know what I mean? All right, so you know me got an answer up in here. 
C plus B. But dude, that has B in it. That has a term of B in it. So I want to solve for B in terms of A and C. So yeah. Very rare. C over A. Okay. C over A. And that's Rohan. Uh, C plus B. How did you get that? Rachel and huh. Okay. Uh, AC over 2A. And that's uh, saggy. AC, just straight up AC. Okay, muster. Dude, is this hard for you guys? Um, yeah, I wish I could retract, but I just because it makes me laugh, I actually don't take retractions. I just write down your first answer in pen. <laughs> we can work on angles after this, yeah. Just what specifically are you talking about, Asta Labor? Like, is there anything... Yeah, you did it a weird out of the way. How did you do it? AC over 2A, another person got that. Nahar, what's up, Nahar? Oh, also, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. Um, C over A, another C over A here. That's Sport Show. Um, AC over 2A, that's Lin. Uh, yeah, this is hard, bro. Uh, I agree, Fuse. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Saggy. That's really true. All right, so let's go over this one. I'm going to show you guys how to do this, and you're going to be like, ooh. Okay, just hard angle stuff. Yeah, we can do that. Henry just got C. <laughs> My dude. Oh, no way. You got CD, April? No way. Is that actually your answer, CD? I'll wait for you. What did you get? What's your answer, April? I will wait. You got A squared over C plus B. Okay, got you, bro. That's Ricky. Tay just got D. <laughs> Tay just, you're wrong, bro. I just have a feeling. Okay, cool. So let's do this one together and let's see how this goes down. Um, A over C plus B. And I, I say that because I actually don't know the answer. I generally don't know the answer to these questions as I'm doing it. Um, no, I see you, Wiz. I don't know why. It's just been a busy chat, I guess. Um, yeah, no, you guys are going to be masters. Yeah. I, I do believe it. Okay, cool. So the first thing we're going to do is cross multiply. So we have A times the quantity of C plus B equals AB. Cool. So what we get is AC plus AB equals AB. Okay, I'm going to subtract AB from each. Whoa. That like blows my mind. Wait a minute. Oh, so C is zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will do the end of this, but only because you guys are great. Um, so what we end up getting is AC equals AB minus AB. Uh, that means C is zero, which would mean that that's actually undefined, which means that this problem is broken. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this problem is busted like crazy. So shout out to me, first of all, for giving you guys a trash problem. <laughs> shout out to everybody who got an answer because that's better than what I was going to do. So yeah, no solutions because C has to equal zero because what we end up getting is AC equals zero. Um, so that means either A is zero or C is zero. So yeah, I will give you guys a redemption. <laughs> well, I actually... Hold on. I need a redemption on this one, so hold on. We will get it done, bros. I did play myself, Rachel. I'm constantly playing myself. Don't you see how much blood I lost? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Mm. Uh. Ooh, that actually might be good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, cool. So then that would be, uh, that would be, it would be B plus C. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this in my head. It's really hard. All right. So hold on. Let me see. That was A over, what was that one? Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, also, shout out to everybody who's studying on a Friday. That's for real. Okay, cool. 
So let's say, yeah. all right, so that would be B time, or that would be A times B plus C over B. All right, cool, so let's do that. All right, so. All right. So this one you guys should be able to crush. So if you can't crush this one or if you're feeling like, oh, no, oh, no, then definitely ask a question because this this will be like super, super easy. Yeah. Happy Friday, everybody. What's up, introvert? All right. So terms of A and C. So this one is not broken. I promise it's not broken. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah dude thanks everybody thanks for the likes loving it all right so here we go we have a uh, an equation this actually works um so this is my redemption this is the redemption of tyler volume one a b equals c minus b c what is b in terms of a and c let's get it Did I know pop backwards is pop? No. Is it? Dude, is it really? Whoa. That is crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is mom backwards? Mom? Whoa. <laughs> uh, Tejas, okay. We got D from Tejas. All right, guys, I'll give you guys like another 45 seconds on this one. C over A plus C. I'm very interested, Saggy. 2A from Poke. Muster. Why did I call you Boke today? That's definitely Poke. Wow, Zhao. That's crazy. <laughs> Very nice. All right, cool. So that is about enough time. Hopefully you guys got your answers in before that. Got Lynn, Muster, uh, Asta Labor. Good. Dude, the redemption is real. April, nice. Do you know O backwards is O? What? <laughs> huh, nice. Uh, problem is still broken? No way. No way, Henry. You're about to get BTFO, bro. Just like I got BTFO that last problem. Okay, Nahar. Auditioning. Word. Uh, Ricky. A over two. And that's Ricky. Got you, dude. Um, Leo. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Wiz. Um, no. Rachel. All right, cool. All right, bros. Please teach. I'm about to, my dude. So all we're going to be doing is isolating the B. So in order to do that, we're going to want to get all the Bs on one side. So rewriting the equation really quick so you guys can see how it connects. All right, word. I'm going to get this B term on the other side by adding a BC to each side. Cool. Now that both of these terms have a B, that means I can factor a B out of them. <laughs> so B, A plus C equals C. So now I can divide by A plus C. And dude, why I'm like super happy is that this is reduced all the way. Nobody canceled out that C and you can't cancel out that C because that's plus bros. So yeah, you cannot cancel it out. So that's the right answer. Yeah, the chat's absolutely right. Nice. <laughs> no, that's a good one, Rez. All right. So there's that one. Hopefully that makes sense, Xiao. Like, hopefully it makes sense to be manipulating equations like that. Um, I hope so, at least. Um, oh, that's a pretty good question. 
So I've got some rate questions. Did you got three ads? I hope you make all three of those websites your different home pages. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was a good movie. Okay, cool. So yeah, what else could we? Uh, what else do you guys want to work on? I know you guys said angles, so we can do that. Um, you're not stupid. You're so smart, Ricky. All right, cool. Uh, what do you want to go over, Sports Show? What did you drop in the chat, man? Can you go over that? We'll go over what? Ding. Uh, managed to get the terms on a broken one, but can't for this one. That's crazy. Why not, Sports Show? Um, cool. Dude, yeah, the decade is ending in two months. Shout out to the decades, bro. Shout out to decades. Yeah. Dude, the stream has gone by fast. I think because when I make mistakes, that when it goes by fast for me, at least. Oh, permutation combination. Dude, uh, Zhao, I made a video about that. Um, you should check that video I made. It's called permutations and combinations. <laughs> check out that video because we've been doing a lot of that in the stream. Um, and we actually did trig last week with sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, so, yeah, that we just did. No, the problem that we just did. Oh, really? Support show? Bro. So, here's our equation. I just added a BC to each side. And so, now I get AB plus BC equals C. Then I factor out a B because if I were to distribute this, it would be AB plus BC again. So, I just factored out that B. And then I divided both sides by A plus C, and that's how I got that answer. Um, yeah. Yeah, teach you factoring. Let's do logarithms. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. Yo. Dude. Okay, cool. Yeah. Logarithms? Dude, there are not going to be logarithms on your tests. Uh. uh. Okay, so I got some probability you guys want to do. We did probability yesterday. Short division. <laughs> we can do short division, dude. We can do short division. All right, so we were talking about algebra. We've done this one together. Um, but this one is a really good one. It's a... Um, dude, Wiz, we can do logarithms on uh, the OG stream this weekend, bro. So just catch me there. All right, let's do this one really quick because I don't know if we've done this one together or not. Uh, let's do dogs. Yes, I agree. Let's just do dogs. <laughs> I don't want to do anything else. All right, so let's see. Let's get this. I guess I should read this. A group of 202 took 60 tents to camp. Some tents hold two, others hold four. Assuming all tents are filled to capacity and there is no leftover people, how many two-person tents are there? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we could do word dog reveals. <laughs> uh, let me get some coffee in my sister really quick. Thanks, Leo. Shout out to Leo. Thanks, man. Okay, I'll give you guys like 45 more seconds. This one is hard, but it's algebra. That's all it is. I'll actually give you guys two minutes total, so one more minute, guys. Oh, I just got 19. My bad. Uh, Zhao got one. Roseman. Uh, oh, sorry. Roseman got 11. My bad, bro. Got you, Roseman. Uh, Guerrero. Got you. Uh, miscellaneous. Okay, so let's go over this one. Sports Show got it too. All right. So this may be a busted question, which is why it was in the bottom of my pile. <laughs> I hope it's not. I hope it's not. All right. Uh, Rachel got 19. That's an interesting answer. I'll put that. Oh, Audition got, got that too. You guys are together. All right. So Leo got 11. Uh, Leo, I got you. You're with Roseman. 
All right, bro. So let's do this question. All right, I got you, Fall. Okay. So 60 tenths. So we know that the number of two-person tenths, let's just call the two-person tenths X, and let's call the four-person tenths Y. So the twos are going to be X, the fours are going to be Y. And we know X plus Y is going to equal 60. We also know that the amount of two-person tenths, two people in two-person tenths, the amount of four-person tenths is going to equal 202 people total. So what we have here is a system of equations because we know two-person tenths versus the amount of four-person tenths is going to equal 60. And two persons per two-person tent, four people per four-person tent, and we add them all up and it's going to be 202. So we have a system of equations. So let's do some substitution here because I know that this could also be um, x equals 60 minus y. So we're going to go ahead and substitute that in. Um, so or actually we should substitute in the y or for x. So um, y equals 60 minus x. So let's do that. So we have 2x plus 4 and now I know that y equals 60 minus x because of this equation here. So I'm going to plug it in. 202. Cool. So now I'm going to distribute. Um, okay. That's kind of heinous. Um, so I'm going to subtract 240 from each side. Thirty-eight. All right, so that means that a positive 2x equals positive 38. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 19. Boom. Shout out to Rachel, shout out to auditioning. That is skill. <laughs> really nice, bro. Really nice. No, you guys didn't get ignored. Poke, I got poke right there. I don't know where Saggy is, but shout out to Saggy. Um, yeah, dude, what happened to you guys here? Why did so many people pick one? That wouldn't even work out, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you want to get me to see your answer, retract it, and then I will see it 100%. Um, wow, I can't believe more people didn't get that. You never said that they used all the tents? Yeah, they, um, assuming all tents are filled to capacity and there's no leftover people. Um, and there's only 60 tents total. That's the key, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, let's do a redemption. Oh, uh, sorry, Nahar. Shout out to Nahar. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's do one more. Redemption. You can redeem yourself. It is time. Why is one wrong? Uh, please explain. I can show you. Um, so if you have one two-person tent, then that means that you have 200 people because that's going to be two people. So you have 200 people in the four person tents. Um, and so that means that how many four person tents are there? 50 plus the one two person tent, that would only be 51. And we took 60 tents and all tents are filled to capacity. So because all tents are filled to capacity, we can't have nine leftover tents. So that's why that's incorrect. All right, let's do another one like that. So let's see if we can get you guys going here. Um, let's see if I can find that problem. Hold up really quick. Um, where would that even be? That would be in DeepMind 2. Let me pull that up. And then we'll do that by edit date. Um, also, yeah, shout out for the people who are playing DeepMind, man. That's been so awesome to see. Okay, yeah, we've done that one already. Meh. Re. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get another age game for you guys that I think will be hard. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. Um, rah, no, we've done that one. I'm just like clicking through all these questions now, just looking for an age game. Oh my gosh. There it is. Found it. Okay. 
All right, so here's another example of that where you have two. Uh, yeah, I've been getting some of these questions from DeepMind, but not all of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. If you're playing DeepMind, keep the tab open because, dude, it's long. It's really long. You want some hype music poke? I got you, bro. Don't even worry about it. All right, so let me put this question together really quick. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure this is cool. Okay. All right, cool. So here's the question. Um, good luck with this, by the way. I think this is a good question. Um, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I am using a voice changer. Uh, okay, cool. So <laughs> yeah, if, if you guys, yeah, I mean, I don't know if anybody can top the donations that were occurring yesterday. I mean, I got 99 cents yesterday, bro. So just a shout out real quick. Okay, cool. So here's the question. Let's get it. Algebra time, bros. Uh, and Yasti is three times as old as Bernalde Pop. Five years ago, and Yasti was five times as old as Bernalde Pop. How old is Bernalde Pop next year? Let's get it. Well, then you'd be absolutely obliterating the old record, Henry, for sure. <sighs> Rachel. Crushing. Poke. Of course. Bricky. Nice, dude. Yeah. Okay, guys, five more seconds. Saggy. Leo. Okay, that is time. That's how long you should be taking on these questions, bros. Uh, now, let me make sure I get all these names. April. Uh, Nahar. Nice. Rodney. Dude, you guys are crushing this. Henry. <laughs> Dude, now you're a rock star, Rachel. Uh, auditioning, got gotcha, you, dude. You've, you've, you, Tejas, nice. Uh, okay. Uh, Mena, all right, chill. All right, cool. So let's go through this one because you guys absolutely crushed it and I'm just like so happy. Um, so dude, keep practicing. Always, for sure. So, Wiz, if you're confused, bro, here we go. Now's the time to learn. So, algebra. We need to establish what our variables mean. So, A is going to be age now. And B is going to be B's age 
now. And that's important because we're going to be adding numbers and taking numbers away from it. If you did a $500 super chat, I would do a super stream. <laughs> that's, uh, yep, that's that's a hundred percent sure. Okay, so let's check this out. Um, first sentence: and Anyasti is three times as old as Bernalda. So, Anyasti is, and remember, is means equals three times as old as Bank. Like we're we're cruising so far. Um, <laughs> yeah, you would be an absolute legend for sure. Uh, second sentence, five years ago. So we can't use A because A is the age of A now. Five years ago, we got to take away five. So A minus five was, which is the past tense of is, five times as old as Bernaldop. But Bernaldop isn't now. Bernaldop also was five years younger five years ago. So here we go. If you can get these two things, um, if he can get these two expressions, then you guys will be fine, totally fine. Um, but if not, then you might have some problems. So hopefully you got this, that Bermaldo or whatever is five years younger, and the Asti is five years younger, and five years ago, and he asked he was five times as old. So now we're going to do a substitution because we know that A equals 3B. So we're going to substitute in a 3B every time we see an A in this second equation. So it would be 3B minus 5 equals 5B minus 15. I'm going to subtract 3B from each side. So I get minus 5 equals 2B minus 15. I'm going to add 15 to each side. Oh, whoops. So 10 equals... Ooh. No, I add 15 to each side, 15, yeah, 10 equals 2B. So then that means that 5 equals B, and ooh, that isn't the answer. Oh, because this needs to be a 25. <laughs> Dude, is the chat screaming at me yet? <laughs> so that should be a 20. Uh, this should be a 10. We're cruising, no big deal, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the chat would catch me. I knew the chat would catch my mistake. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah, Pokar, part of the reason... No, I was doing good math. That was me testing you, and you guys all passed. So uh, <laughs> so B equals 10. Uh, B equals 10. Um, yeah, so I didn't mess up. That was actually me testing you guys. Testing to make sure that you know how to do your distribution. Don't be lazy. Don't 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 think that five times five is negative fifteen. That was me testing you. So congratulations to everybody who passed the test. Everybody passed who called me out. That was on purpose. I didn't do that on accident. So <laughs> ten is B, and I'm really actually impressed that nobody got tricked. Nobody picked ten as an answer, even though it's like such an obvious answer. Because what we're looking for is Bernaldop next year. And next year, he's not going to be 10. He's going to be 11. So, yeah. Um, good job, everybody. Not falling for the trap. Okay, very nice. <laughs> very nice. All right, so let me see if I can get a really hard problem for this last one really quick. Just to, like, throw you guys into a... Uh, throw you guys into... Throw a little bit harder here. Mm, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Okay. So I got two really hard ones that we can do. Should we do a really hard... <laughs> That's true, April. That's very true. So for the last problem, should we do a rate problem or should we do a ratio problem? A rate problem or a ratio problem? Which one should we do? Um, yeah, dude. Yep. That's a good point, Pokar. My, I'm so good that my fake mistakes look like real mistakes. So that's how you know I'm really good because I can like make my fake mistakes look like I'm actually messing up when really I'm just testing you. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so should we do rate or ratio? I know I'm like 30 seconds ahead of you guys. Ratio? Rate? Oh my gosh. Maybe, maybe we'll do rate. All right, let's do the rate one. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Um, where is it? 
Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Uh... Okay, yeah. So let's do this problem. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not covering my mistake. Uh, ratio is nice. Okay, cool. So let's do this ratio question really quick. Um, yeah, I'm just testing you guys. <laughs> okay. This one's going to be really hard. So if you can't get it, that's okay. But if if this is too hard for you, that's fine. But you know what I mean? Like, don't even worry about it. Um, let's see. Okay. All right, so this one is really hard. Uh, this one is really hard. Let me see if it's too hard, actually. Mm, nope, it's not too hard. Um, all right, so let's get this. This is a hard question, though. This would be at the very tippy top of your skill ability on the SHSAT, so let's get it. <laughs> uh, oh my god! <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, dudes, let's get this. One more minute, bro. One more minute. All right, I'll give you like two minutes for this one. Let's get let's get a little bit of music up in here, just so that it's a little bit of something going on here. Yeah, I, did, I was going to put marbles or pens or whatever, but I got to the end and I realized that I didn't have any nouns, so I just said things. Um, yeah. Auditioning. Oh, what a tragic time for your computer to crash. Uh, Henry, very nice, man. Very nice. And updated, bro. <laughs> Crunchy. Uh, Leo. Yeah, exactly. Tejas, Tejas. Nice, bro. Uh, Crunchy, got you, bro. Yep. Ricky. All right, guys. About 30 more seconds. Leo. Okay, guys, about 10 more seconds. Got Guerrero. <laughs> Rachel, nice. Zeden, dude, Zeden, what's up, man? Nazir. All right, that's enough time, guys. Nazir. Uh, Ricky, I think I already got you. Nahar. <laughs> Dan's, we'll go over this, bro. Don't even don't even say. It would say new total or something, poke, for sure. But I don't care. At this point, I just want to make sure you guys know how to do this. All right, so I feel like I got everybody. Leo, I already got you for 780, bro. Uh, you guess and check, dude. Good for you, man. Guess and check is awesome. Like so many people, so many of my students are like looking for complicated ways to do problems. And I'm like, no, dude, just get the right answer. Like if you could 
smash your head on the desk and then that would give you the right answer every time i would say do that 114 times like whatever it takes to get the right answer do it it doesn't matter if it's fancy they throw away the book um so really the only thing that you need to be worrying about is right answers so let's go over this guy um because i feel like you guys know how to do this kind of so what we have here is a ratio and i'm going to represent that ratio as a fraction so we have red over blue and that's going to equal one over three wait let me make sure that's right yes so that's going to be one over three then we know that if we remove 10 from red um actually hold on a second let me yeah so then if we remove 10 from red that would be that red minus 10 over b now equals one sixth so here is our system of equation bros these two these two so cross multiplication that's nice cross multiplication oops cool so we have b equals and we have b equals and since 3r equals b and since b equals 6r minus 60 we could then just say that 3r equals 6r minus 60. yeah <laughs> dude yeah i've actually left ink stains on this desk uh people are gonna be pissed <laughs> yeah uh yeah i've dude i've left so many ink stains on this notebook and then the desk too is like totally so here we are with the equation we're going to subtract 3r from each side so 0 equals 3r minus 60 i'm going to add 60 to each side so 60 equals 3r divide by 3 divide by 3 20 equals r so that's how much r is um we know that the the ratio of r to blue is one to three originally so that'd be 20 to 60 and that would equal 80 so 80 totally good to go awesome if you're doing the new after they subtract 10 70 also works so the fact that like the fact that you guys like got this i'll take both these answers because the question was not written um yeah so <laughs> So yeah, if you got that 70, I mean, shout out. Because, I mean, I, I didn't say if it was before or after we remove the, um, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, cool. So yeah, it is kind of like age problems, just because. Yes, this is, this is a family-friendly tutoring network. <laughs> ages one and, ages one to seven. That's, that's all that's... <laughs> okay cool so yeah dudes that is a super stream maybe i'll do a super stream next week i'm back at my old desk yay i'm back at my old desk next week i'm so excited so everybody say goodbye to this weird kind of staticky desk situation because i will be back on my black wood desk thank goodness i'm so excited about that bro <laughs> dude oh you got a two april shout out to april for sure i don't know when there's going to be a super stream i have no idea who knows um but what i do know is that i am going to be out of here because i got a ride to catch i'm going on a trip this weekend bros pretty pumped about it it's nice to get away every once in a while um all right so check it if you're new to the streams, welcome. Um, we're gonna be grinding through the test, obviously. Check out my website. I got a lot of practice that you can do on it. It's all free. Um, so yeah, go ahead and do this up. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, also, if you guys have any questions, here's my email. Um, I need a shorter email. <laughs> I'm so tired of writing this whole thing out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, good. All right, so guys, check out the website if you haven't already. Definitely sub if you haven't already. Um, and if you are super new, I just dropped the second version of DeepMind. Check that out on my website. Um, yeah, so yeah, actually, um, 
yeah so if you're new definitely check out the website and if you have any questions you can always hit me up via there i've been getting some really good questions and oh dude tages i forgot to do that question today from muster in the chat uh in the discord yeah dude i i was just curious what the actual question was so just respond to that email that i hit you up with dude yeah all right ma'am so check out tylertutor.com i just updated my website so hopefully it doesn't look as bad as ever yep iconic ending yeah that's what's up dude anna Cat, send me those uh, thumbnails i want to see them what a time to be alive <laughs> let's go boys let's go all right so yeah dudes um i'm gonna get out of here just because i gotta get moving but dudes really good job this week and next week we'll be back at the desk we'll be grinding ogs be on the lookout in your email i'm gonna be scheduling the og stream yeah bro what a time to be alive all right i'm out of here have a good weekend everybody see you on monday peace